Hi, this is Eric Frangi, Hey Quality Water. I've put together a water treatment proposal for you here. And I'm just going to go through this diagram. So the water comes from the well, and it's going to go up to a holding tank. I'm going to recommend a fire suppression tank um, for that. So probably whatever the county calls for, five or 10,000 gallons in a steel tank. That water is going to be aerated with air injection to hopefully get rid of some of the smells prior to oxidizing the water. So this would be the first step in the treatment process. Uh, this tank would also be used for fire suppression, so you'll have a fire line. Um, you would use that fire line as well to purge the bottom of this tank. The water is very turbid, and that would help clear up the water in this first primary tank. Then it would go through a booster pump to the second tank, which could be, let's say, a 5,000-gallon poly tank. The second tank is going to be used to oxidize the water. So in this design application, we're using ozone. And this could be somewhere between a 2 and 30 gram per hour scenario. The problem is we don't know exactly know what it's going to take until um, we've got the first tank in place and see how much the aeration does on its own. But we can scale that up or down depending on what the needs are. And so, same thing, this is going to have a blowdown valve. All the sediment is going to accumulate at the bottom of this tank. We want to dump that off the bottom of the tank. And then the fill for this would be, let's say, about this high off the tank. So you're not pulling from the bottom of the tank. All the sediment is going to settle out in here. And then you've got a blowdown valve to clear off the bottom of this tank. So this is your uh, pre-treatment water. And this is also going to be good for irrigation. So this can handle all of your landscaping. So the idea is this tank will collect your water, oxidize, uh, aerate it, and then once this tank calls for water, it will kick this booster pump on, it will draw the water into this tank, and then the ozone system is a constant recirculation. So it's pulling out, ozonating, and putting it back in. Through this constant recirculating process, we're going to make sure that the ozone level concentrations are high enough to get rid of all the smells in the water, oxidize out the manganese, the iron, and get that all to drop out of solution inside this tank. And that would be used for your irrigation. Then we're going to go through another pump, repressurizing that water to then run it through a sediment filter. The sediment filter is going to remove all the sand, sediment, silt. This filter is down to three microns. Then we're going to run it through a ozone destructor, which is an ultraviolet lamp designed to kill the ozone and effectively neutralize it because the ozone will ruin the RO membranes. So after it goes through the UV system, it's going to go through the nanofiltration system, which has a pre and post treatment injection system. So it's going to add RO pretreat to this to protect the membrane life. It's going to add soda ash after the RO pretreat, um, sorry, after the RO to raise the pH of the water so that it's not too aggressive to run through your home. This water here will then go into your final 2,500 or 5,000 plus gallon poly holding tank. We'll have a small ozone generator uh, sanitizing this water to make sure it's always nice and clean. And then you have a final booster pump and repressurization system that would then feed your house and your neighbor's house or whatever else you want to feed with purified water. So my suggestion would be 10,000 gallon tank to 5,000 gallon poly tanks, one to three pumps as far as the infrastructure, and then uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight different uh, filtering systems and purification systems to make your hot spring water nice, clean, and drinkable for your whole house and your property anywhere you want it. If you have any questions on that, please let me know and I will keep working on this as a finalized proposal.